Well, welcome everybody to the first annual Dairy Innovation Hub Dairy Summit. My name is Maria Walt and I serve as the program manager for the hub. I'm going to be your MC today and uh, hope to keep everything on time and on track. Um, we have an exciting and packed schedule for the day. And so I just want to kick it off with a couple tips to, you know, make the most of your experience today. Um, so if you have questions for our speakers, you will notice that there's a chat function on your media player. Um, go ahead and type your questions in there. We'll be keeping an eye on it and um, we'll make sure to get those questions to our speakers. Keep in mind that there's a 30 second delay. So um, try to type your questions in, you know, before we get to the end of each session. Um, any questions we don't get to live, we will make sure to follow up with you after the event because um, we have your email and um, it should show your first and last name. Um, next, I just want to reiterate that all of our attendees are in listen only mode. So um, we can't see or hear you, which means you can get snacks and pop up and down and uh, hold your chihuahua in my case, and uh, all of those great things that come along with uh, the virtual world that we're living in. Um, all the, the important information today, like schedule, abstract, um, speaker contact information, stuff like that, um, that's all posted to our website. And um, an interesting feature also in your media player is um, right below the chat box, you'll see a tab that says info. If you click that, there's uh, pertinent links for today. So there's a link that'll go back to our website. Um, and there's uh, a link also to um, our student challenge, which is my um, final point I want to bring up. We've got a, a student innovation competition happening right now. Um, students have uh, created projects about um, innovation in dairy, and uh, they've got videos posted and there's online voting happening right now. So make sure to check out uh, those presentations as your schedule allows um, using that info tab as well. Um, so without further delay, we're gonna go ahead and get things started. I'd like to welcome our first speaker, Chancellor Dennis Shields from uw Platteville, who is our uh, virtual host today, Chancellor Shields. Good morning, everybody, and thank you, Maria. Um, the first thing I'd like to do is acknowledge the, the Dairy Innovation Hub doesn't happen without a tremendous amount of collaboration between business and industry and their associations, um, uh, the legislators who supported this initiative, and most importantly, the collaboration between our three universities, UW-Madison, River Falls, and Platteville. Uh, it is, I think, an extraordinary thing that we pulled this together uh, for ourselves. And I think it's a representation of the Wisconsin idea. And why do I say that? I say that because agriculture is, uh, has a $105 billion economic impact on the state of Wisconsin. And dairy accounts for almost half of that. So there's no question that the, this innovation hub is an important driver of innovation and new discoveries for the dairy industry and the state of Wisconsin. We here at Platteville are strategically positioned to be a major partner in the hub efforts. Our School of Agriculture has more than seven programs with national and international recognition through competitions. Uh, our dairy science program is one of those that fits directly innovation within the Innovation Hub's mission. And my, my thanks to the vision and leadership of uh, Dean Weber and Professor Tara Montgomery for making that happen. We have the Pioneer Farm. It's a 400-acre farm serving as a living and learning laboratory that provides a platform for research and hands-on experiential learning. And I'm, I'm told later this afternoon you'll get a virtual tour of the farm. I'll tell you, when I was coming for my interview uh, here on the campus about 11 years ago, um, 
I looked at my agenda and I knew there was a farm and I saw on the agenda for the day and a half I was going to be on campus that it didn't include a tour of the farm. Now, you got to be careful what you ask for. So I insisted that I get a tour. My visit was in the middle of February. It was nine degrees and the wind was blowing 25 miles an hour. Um, but it was the first place I actually visited when I came to campus. So it's, it's really very exciting. Um, we've already seen a significant impact from the hub. Further, I, first of all, it was, it's deepened our connection with the, our industry partners. Uh, they're very excited about this, and we really appreciate the support on this front. Um, it's opened uh, other opportunities for collaboration between our university stakeholders and our branch campus communities. Our sister schools have mutually benefited from this partnership, and they, they will probably have their own opportunity. Thank you for that. It's already producing innovative research projects, which you'll hear about later today. For example, nano-sculpted silica membranes to isolate dairy pathogens. <laughs> Virtual enclosures to enforce managed grazing. Now, the enclosures I get, that other thing I said, some nano-sculpted, I'm out of my depth. I'm just a dumb lawyer. Um, uh, so I, I'm sure those of you that are involved in the industry will have a better grip on that. Uh, but more broadly, we've, been, we've already hired several researchers, so it, it, it strengthens the intellectual depth of the bench that we hear at Platteville. I'm grateful for that. Um, we recognize that we sit in the center of the dairy universe, uh, and it's expanding. So you, I learn new things all the time. Uh, I've learned the term small ruminants, which I didn't know what that meant. But Tara has informed me that that's goats. And I said, oh, okay. But goat cheese, we're, we're becoming the center of the universe in goat cheese, and the Dairy Innovation Hub gives us an opportunity to investigate that more. I want to thank again Tara Montgomery, Dean Weber, uh, Rami Reddy, the director of our School of Agriculture, all of whom contributed to make this happen. So thanks so much. Um, I, I view this whole opportunity as part of uh, our being as a university stewards of place. And by that I mean helping our region and state prosper is a central part of our university mission. Thank you for everyone for attending um, this uh, dairy summit. Uh, and by the end of it, you'll understand why I say Every day is a great day to be a pioneer. Thank you. Thanks, Chancellor. I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, I'm up next, so I'll take over from here. Hi, everybody. I am the provost here at the University of wisconsin Platteville. My name is Dr. Tammy Ivetovich, and I want to echo the, what the Chancellor said and welcome everyone to the first annual Dairy Innovation Hub, or DIH Summit. Um, I'll admit, too, having grown up on a farm in the middle of Nebraska, I was also very excited to tour the farm during my interview and was so impressed with that operation and with the faculty and staff that are involved there. So I'll echo what the chancellor said about that. And as provost, I'm really excited about the DIH and the impact it has and, and will have um, going forward on our research and education here in the future. Already, this collaboration has begun, and it's a central tenet to the, um, of the launch of this initiative, including the three universities and our regional stakeholders, which is a very important component of this. Um, this collaboration has also been notably evident on our campus already across the colleges. And when I say across the colleges, I truly mean that as, as reflected in our faculty research fellowships that include faculty from the social sciences and, and political science and mechanical engineering and chemistry and animal science, and of course, dairy science. So, you know, bringing everybody into this initiative has been great. These collaborations open up so many doors educationally to engage students across disciplines in what we call high impact practices, especially the undergraduate research in um, the service learning that occurs with this initiative. 
our students are not only diving into the research, but they're adding to the current knowledge base as we work to answer questions and solve those problems related to the dairy industry. And, you'll, and, and something that I'm really committed to is that active student involvement helps our students be successful in their studies. It aids in our retention efforts so that we can keep students here at Platteville. And ultimately, what we're working toward, it increases graduation, graduation rates leading to successful careers. And this is something that's very important to me personally and to the university. So this, the result of this student engagement really aligns with the hub vision, which is to be the world's preeminent source of bold new discoveries and talent development in dairy. And it also aligns with our vision here at Platteville in that we um, said we, we are striving to achieve excellence, create opportunities, and empower individuals. So it aligns with us very well. And I want to thank all who have supported our efforts and made this initiative possible. This collaboration is just a wonderful example of what we want to accomplish and what we can accomplish through our universities. So again, I welcome you and we look forward to an informative and stimulating summit. Um, so welcome to the summit and with that I'll turn it over to Dean Weber, I believe. Thank you, Provost Vedovich and Chancellor Shields. As the Provost indicated, my name is Dr. Wayne Weber. I'm Dean of the College of Business, Industry, Life Science, and Agriculture. And I also want to welcome you. Yes, we would have loved to have had you here on our beautiful campus and, and show you our incredible living and learning laboratory, Pioneer Farm, that was mentioned. But we have a fantastic opportunity today to communicate how the Dairy Innovation Hub is strategically moving forward and already making an impact. And although virtual, UW Platteville is excited to host the first annual summit, there's no question that part of the initial success of the hub has been tied to communication. And both the, the provost and chancellor have talked about the collaboration and communication. And I want to talk a little bit more about that because it's been an emphasis point from the beginning. This communication is well portrayed through the interactions between the three participating universities, UW Platteville, UW River Falls, and UW Madison. And it's been facilita facilitated by our faculty director Dr. Heather White, and our program manager, Maria Volt. As an executive committee, the deans of the three campuses meet once a month to discuss directions and strategies. In parallel, we have faculty leaders serving as hub liaisons on all three campuses that are also meeting on a regular basis. You tie that in with the overarching advisory council that includes university and industry stakeholder members, steering committees at all three universities, regional stakeholder groups, including farmers, cheesemakers, and other industry partners. And what you have is a vast network of communication. As famous composer John Powell states, communication works for those who work at it. And the hub, from the initial launch, has worked at it and focused on communication. And that's been integral to our initial uh, success. So now I want to just uh, continue to talk about briefly some additional hub initiatives at UW Platteville and the related impacts. As illustrated by the Chancellor and Provost, things have been moving rapidly here at UW Platteville. Much of that is due to the extraordinary leadership of Dr. Tara Montgomery, who is our leader in dairy science and hub liaison. We've been working on facility and infrastructure upgrades at Pioneer Farm. Part of the goal here is to develop a technology infrastructure, including robotics, to serve as a foundational point for the hub research in that capacity. But the Dairy Innovation Hub is not only about cows, right? It's also about people. And we're extraordinarily excited to have brought in our first two hub research scientists, Dr. Ryan Prawley, who's a dairy scientist with expertise in ruminant nutrition, and Dr. Joseph Sanford, who's an agricultural and biosystems engineer with expertise in agriculture wastewater management. Being a comprehensive institution, these positions are the first of our kind. Uh, or their kind at UW Platteville. And so there's been extensive work done regarding change management and this transition. And it fits directly with the hub objectives, as the Chancellor mentioned, of bringing top talent to drive bold new discoveries and innovation in the industry. Additionally, as introduced by the Chancellor, seven dairy industry impact and innovation, what we call DI3 faculty research fellowships have been awarded. And you're gonna be hearing from folks today about some of those and the exciting steps that they've been taking. 
in addition to what the chancellor and provost mentioned, some of these high impact projects range from things such as understanding the changing agricultural landscape and impacts on southern Wisconsin dairy farms and rural communities to measuring the rheological properties of ice cream. In fact, we just had an article come out on the latter, and I think we all want to volunteer for that one. We also have a call out and awarded five supplies and equipment proposals for this fiscal year. We're building that support staff infrastructure to help facilitate research moving forward. And with all this and exciting strides that we've been taking, there's so many people to thank for the launch and success of this initiative. I'll just mention a few here, starting with and including all the board and committee members. Additionally, we'd like to thank all those who served on the Dairy Task Force 2.0, and of course, Representative Trammell and Senator Markline, and that they were the ones who originally moved this forward legislatively that garnered subsequent broad legislative, uh, legislative support for this initiative. So just a reminder, we do have the Pioneer Farm virtual tour at 2.45 p.m. that will provide some history and look at this incredible resource. And lastly, again, we'd like to welcome you to this first annual Dairy Innovation Hub Summit hosted by the University of Wisconsin Platteville. Next, it's my pleasure to introduce my colleague, Dr. Kate Vandenbosch, who's Dean of the College of Agriculture and Life Science at UW-Madison. Kate? Thank you, Wayne, and thank you to all of our Platteville colleagues for hosting us this year. Uh, I'm, I'm so pleased that we are able to gather this way. And I want to add my voice of welcome to all of the participants. As Dean of the College of Agricultural and Life Sciences at UW-Madison, or CALS as we call it, it, is, it has been a pleasure to see how the Hub has enhanced the opportunities that we have to work together with our external stakeholders. I'm especially grateful to the members of our advisory council and the broader communities that they represent. They play a major role in creating and implementing our vision for the hub. Their input also helps us keep grounded in the goal to serve the dairy industry through groundbreaking research that will create innovations that all can use. Likewise, as, as uh, Wayne has just said, the other deans and I are grateful for the Wisconsin, le Wisconsin legislators who have supported this effort and continue to nurture an active interest in our success. You'll be hearing directly from these groups this afternoon, and I'm excited to learn directly from them about their priorities. At Madison this first year of the Hub, under the guidance of our steering committee and our faculty director, Heather White. Our focus has been on research investments that can have a rapid impact to get us out of the gate quickly. These have included our short-term high-impact projects and investment in attracting new talent to Wisconsin dairy research. This includes young scientists, of course, graduate students and postdocs, our fresh PhDs, as well as attracting some colleagues already on campus uh, who have great expertise in their own fields but haven't necessarily worked on dairy issues before. Already, we have investigators from at least 10 CALS departments and centers that are working on hub projects, and they bring a broader network with links outside the college to the Wisconsin Energy Institute, to engineering and computing, medicine, veterinary medicine, and beyond. I think this network is especially significant because interdisciplinary approaches will give us that extra edge to address today's challenges. And the hub can therefore leverage all of UW. I'm excited that you will hear about some of these projects this after, today, this morning, from the researchers who will do a much better job of telling their own story than I would do. So with that, I'm happy to hand over to Dr. Dale Gallenberg, who is the Dean of the College of Agriculture, Food, and Environmental Sciences at UW-River Falls. Dale? Uh, thank you, Kate. On behalf of the faculty and staff here in CAFES, I want to thank everyone joining the summit today and hope that by the end of the presentations, you have a much better sense of the many good things 
that are continuing to happen within the broad network that is the Dairy Innovation Hub. One of those good things is collaboration, which I'm going to touch on a bit more uh, later. And I want to echo the thanks from my colleagues uh, to the many folks involved in making the funding for this hub uh, a reality. At UW-River Falls, we focused uh, some initially on establishing a process for local oversight of the hub funding to ensure that we're making strategic choices for use of those dollars, both in the short term and the long term. We want to ensure that our investments, particularly in faculty and, and other staff positions, are focused and sustainable in the future. So in part to achieve this, we have a local steering committee made up of department chairs, faculty, and staff that are charged with developing calls for proposals and making funding recommendations uh, to myself and others. These are our local shepherds of the hub, if you will. This group further coordinates with the entire hub through Steve Kelm, who's our fa uh, faculty liaison, along with myself, with Heather, Maria, the other deans, and other hub leadership. As a campus, we've awarded numerous faculty research fellowships to engage our current faculty more fully in hub research within one of the four focus areas. Additionally, we've made awards in equipment and renovations, both for our on-campus laboratories, as well as at the Man Valley Farm, which is the site of our dairy herd and dairy facilities. Uh, more of these awards will be made this year. We're excited to be in the process of adding four new faculty positions that will all have a significant emphasis on research, as well as teaching. These four positions include one in each of the four hub focus areas. We've hired a research support specialist. We have another uh, position in progress. And moving forward, we're also going to be hiring some postdoctoral teaching fellows, which will also be a new thing at the UW-River Falls campus. I mentioned earlier the good things happening in the hub and specifically collaboration. I think every speaker this morning already has mentioned collaboration. And from the very beginning discussions on this project, collaboration was a focus in all facets of what was envisioned for the hub. All three campuses can and have spoke to greater collaboration within their own departments, colleges, and centers. Additionally, the framework of the hub allows for and quite frankly expects increased collaboration between the three campuses. Now prior to the hub, I think we all felt we did a pretty good job of collaboration, but frankly the hub is going to take this to a new level. Already we have interdisciplinary and cross-university collaborations among faculty and staff on a variety of projects and initiatives. And finally, we are and will continue to collaborate with our industry partners. Through the Hub Advisory Council and interactions with other stakeholders, we will further ensure relevancy and focus in what we do within the Hub. Now, why such an emphasis on collaboration? By working together, we know we can stretch and leverage our funds even further. We want to avoid unnecessary duplication while at the same time max maximizing the strengths that the individual campuses, Madison, Platteville, and River Falls bring to the table. And more than just funding, how do we decide the what and the where of our focus? By bringing together bright and creative minds, we're going to collectively stretch and push ideas into new areas and further think outside the box. So collaboration, uh, it's not just a good thing, it's a critical thing to the sustained success of the hub. Again, uh, welcome to today's summit. Uh, we appreciate your participation. And with that, I think I'll turn it back to you, Maria. Thanks, Dale. Um, we do have uh, time for a couple questions, so I will uh, 
these are going to be directed to really everybody, but probably our, you know, our, our three deans. Um, so I have two and I think we have time for them both. Um, all right. So the first question is, um, what does the hub mean for ensuring that research within dairy priorities remains strong in our agriculture colleges at a time when, you know, maybe some of your peer institutions are losing this focus? Maria, I can uh, start with a, um, an answer. Uh, and I think one thing that's really important is the hub is allowing all three of our institutions to add new faculty uh, at a time when otherwise our numbers are, are contracting a bit. And, um, you know, our commitment is to keep the hub investment strongly focused on dairy. Uh, and not only will we bring in new people that will be a long-term investment, they'll be with us for decades, but it also supports their research efforts and in increases our ability to train uh, new professionals that will leave our universities, and hopefully many of them will stay in Wisconsin. And, and if I could add, um, I think I mentioned briefly uh, leveraging and stretching funds. Uh, I, I think that's another focus on what we what we hope to accomplish through the through the hub is not just have a funding base that we're content with, but quite frankly, stretch and leverage those dollars above and beyond. So, um, the three campuses I think all believe they have very strong programs already in dairy science, and uh, the hub funding's only going to enhance that further, so I'm, I'm quite happy that we're setting the tone for continued emphasis in the future. And just quickly to, to build off uh, those comments, I uh, couldn't agree more, and, and we already have some tangible examples of that, as Dale was indicating, you know, with a, a couple of our new faculty, they're, they're already in, um, you know, significant pursuits of bringing in other external dollars in order to support that dairy research. But what you'll see today with a lot of the research projects, and it was already mentioned in regards to collaboration, that the, you know, with bringing these other uh, talent, um, very talented professors on campus that are highly engaged in the research, it allows for extensive collaborations between other faculty to also engage in these projects and undergraduate students. So the whole thing is really involved with research moving the dairy um, industry and related communities forward. Thanks, Wayne. Um, you know, like any other virtual meeting that we all go to, somebody doesn't unmute themselves. That's me today. <laughs> um, the last question that we have, um, we may need to go a little quickly on this one, but, but uh, we'll take it. Um, how have the faculty research areas been identified to both reflect the needs in our state as well as what complements existing talent at each campus? I can start make a very quick comment. It's the needs of the state is we have stakeholder groups that we engage with extensively as we talked about that communication and that collaboration that is very much with both regional and statewide stakeholder groups so that we are adding relevant uh, research to the direction of the Dairy Hub moving forward. And, and the other thing is looking at what our expertise is on campus and the Dairy Innovation Hub provides uh, a venue by which we can bridge gaps of, of talent. And, and I would just quickly add the four focal points of the hub, the four buckets, if you will. We are all intentionally looking at new hires as well as existing faculty and staff in the context of those four uh, focal areas. And just one more thing to add in there. Um, we've had uh, broad conversations uh, of our existing faculty on campus uh, to harvest their knowledge about emerging technologies that can make a difference in dairy and uh, things that we can add to our, our group of talented faculty to bring in that new expertise. Thank you very much to
to our, uh, our chancellor, our provost, and of course the three deans. With that, um, we're going to dive right into learning about some of these uh, exciting research projects.